Today we're going to be taking a look at Claude skills and I want to show you how you can master this in less than 20 minutes, how you can create Claude skills very easily with Claude code without having to deal with all the different technical aspects of it or downloading a million files from Claude web. Uh, really quickly, what is Claude skills? Um, if you haven't heard about it about two weeks ago, it dropped and you probably heard about it because there was a ton of hype and for good reason. This is one of the greatest and most important things I've seen come out of LLMs in a long time. It's one of the things I'm most excited for. I have been like obsessed with it over these past two weeks. And, you know, uh, it's going to change, dramatically change how I work with with Claude and how I, I, you know, work with clients and how I teach about it. So it's really important for us to, to really uh, learn how to uh, get started using it because going forward, it's going to be super important. Now, there's a ton of content out there on YouTube. There's a ton of great creators here on uh, Substack who have went over it as well. But basically what it is, is we could take a exactly what it sounds like. We could package a skill for Claude and we could package this into a file that can then be uploaded to Claude and we can invoke it or have Claude autonomously invoke it whenever we need to across chats. OK, so you know, if you come into your settings of Claude Web here and you come down to capabilities, you're going to see we have these skills here and these are all included by Claude that you can toggle on. You can read through them. This is one that I created here. For example, we're going to use it as an example in this video, but this basically creates my practical AI guides. Um, and what I did was package this into a skill that transforms transcripts and source content in the practical actionable AI guides. And this can be used whenever a user provides a transcript, mentions creating a practical guide, etc. So my idea with this was whenever I record a video like this one here, I want to be able to put the plug that transcript into Claude, you know, talk about it and also create um, guides based off of that transcript. Right. Uh, this is a very easy use case, but uh, it's, a, it's a good example that you can then expand on. Now, quickly, also, one of the things I wanted to talk about is there's been a lot of questions about uh, what is the difference between Claude skills or Claude projects. And this is also something that I myself questioned when it first came out. I thought, isn't this just like Claude projects? Because I've, I've been all in on Claude projects for a long time. It's everything I've teach. It's what I've used a lot for work. Because with a Claude project, for example, you can upload multiple page instructions, teaching it how to do a specific thing. And then you can upload a bunch of context documents or files here. And to me, I was like, you know, it sounds pretty similar to Claude skills, right? Because we're giving it instructions and context documents, but it's not. And there's some really big differences here, beginning with the fact that Claude project instructions are applied across the entire conversation. You're kind of locked into those project instructions, whereas Claude skills is more dynamic. It can be invoked across chats or in the same chat. You can invoke it at specific times. Um, so it's not just like, running the entire conversation and then when it comes to files here you know in claude projects we can upload all these files uh you know for it to process but claude skills actually makes this so much easier what what a lot of people are not talking about or i haven't seen too many people talk about is the fact that you can also load up your claude skill with a ton of context uh, profiles and context documents so you can take each Claude skill and give it its own context documents and examples. Um, and there's just like endless possibilities here for doing really cool uh, stuff for writing and content operations. All right. But now let's just go through and I want to show you two very um, important things to get started. And the first is what you need to do if you want to create, create Claude skills is you need to create a skill that will then help you create other skills because you don't want to be writing these, you know, this is just like 99% of you are not going to be writing these by hand or doing this manually. Uh, it's important to understand them, but we need something to automate that process and, and help us. Now, I've seen that Claude itself had a Claude skill creator and I've seen some other people talking about it, but, but we're not, we're not dealing with any of that today. I'm going to show you how I do it in the easy way of doing it. So what we're going to do is we are going to use Claude code. Okay. So I'm going to have this inside of cursor. If you don't know how to set up cursor Claude code or, you know, you might already be dealing with it, but if you're not and you're completely new to it, there's a ton of stuff out there. It's super easy. You can also just reach out to me. I'll point you to, to, uh, to good places to learn, but it's super easy. You're going to install cursor and you're going to install Claude code because we're going to use Claude code instead of Claude web. And why are we going to do that? Because Claude web is just does not work good for creating skills and stuff like this. 
uh, but Claude Code does. So in Cursor or Claude Code, uh, what we're going to do here is you want to create a um, you want to create a folder. I put it right here on my desktop, but you would want to save it wherever. You want to create a folder and call it Claude Skills, okay? And open this inside of Cursor. Now, what we have here is um, a blank folder of Claude Skills, okay? So you want a blank folder of Claude Skills. I'm going to activate Claude Code here, all right? So we have Claude Code set up inside of Cursor, and we have a blank folder of Claude Skills. This is where we are going to store our master skill creator, and then all other skills that we create. Uh, we're just going to keep it easy in one spot, right? Which is what you should do if you're if you're doing this. So the first thing, like I said, we need to do is create a master skill creator or whatever, okay? And to do that, what we're going to do is we are going to take the documentation from Claude here for building. Uh, agent skills or cloud skills okay and I'm just gonna copy this link literally just copy this link go back to cloud code and we're gonna tell Claude uh, create a um, a Claude master skill creator skill sounds very weird there's a lot of skills going on um, here is the documentation to help create skills okay something like that my language is kind of really bad there but but whatever it's gonna understand it um that's the best part about AI you can just say shit that it comes out of and sounding very uh jumbled and it understands 99 percent of the time so what we did was we pasted the documentation there and Claude is now going to help us create a master skill creator for Claude code or just Claude and it's first going to fetch the documentation to understand it, all right? And what it's doing now is it's going through the documentation to understand how to create a Claude skill. That documentation is crucial. You need to give it to it or else it's not going to know how to do it, all right? And then we just got to give it some approvals and it's going to create that. This is so much easier than trying to go on to Claude's web app and create skills. It just ends up being a mess. I'm not even going to go through it and show you right now, but it ends up being like, just a mess and it uses a ton of ton of your your um, limit and it gives you a ton of files to download uh, unnecessary stuff a lot of unnecessary stuff so we're going to let that create that really quickly and see what it it gives us all right after it processes everything it's going to come down here and say do you want to create a skill.md and this is what this is what the formatting of the skills are it's in a markdown file so you're going to have a skill.md file and then you're going to have some other some other files as well for templates or examples and stuff like that. And we are going to, in the end, zip all of that up, compress it all into a zip file. And then that's what you need to upload to the web app, all right? But Claude Code will take care of all of it for you, right? So now what um, it is doing is creating the file and creating different templates to go along with it and whatever else it needs based off of the uh, documentation. And after Claude is now, after Claude is done creating the skill, you're going to see it here in our folder, the skill creator skill. So we have the actual skill, which is this right here, skill.md. And this is what a actual Claude skill looks like. So you have a name of it, which this one's skill creator. The description creates new Claude code skills with proper structure and formatting. So when the user wants to create a new skill, it mentions create a skill, make a skill, new skill, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then this is going to help make that skill, right? And then you have all of your instructions here. They're very detailed, all based off the documentation, right? And then we have some examples here as well of skills that it did this all by itself. It created its own examples here. Um, so that is cool as well. So now that we have our um, actual skill creator skill, what we can do is we can keep working here in Claude Code to then use that to create skills for anything. So what I what I like to do is like anything that you want to repeat, like for example, uh, specific types of newsletters or email sequences, or um, in my case, I'm going to look at the practical guides I do. You can turn those into Claude skills with its own with their own context, and then use that in your Claude web app or wherever so that whenever you're working on something you can invoke that and create out of it so for us let's let's try to create one off of my practical guides so let's let's go here to uh, my newsletter and let's say okay 
Um, let's look at this one here. I did a video on how to connect OpenAI agents to 8,000 plus apps. All right, and you can see here from, let nope, this is the wrong spot. Hold on, let's say here, build your first AI agent in 10 minutes, no code, no code required. This was one of the guides I did, right? And it performs well with a bunch of pictures, step-by-steps, right? What I can do is let's just take that link. Let's go back to Claude Code and let's say, um, turn my um, practical AI guide into a Claude skill so I can um, create new ones in the future on new topics. Uh, we want to like follow this structure, tone, etc. Uh, and then we can say use your Claude skill creator to create it. And then we can give it, here is the example guide. Right, so we can give it that. And now it's gonna look at my successful practical AI guide. It's gonna process it. It's gonna package it into a skill that I can then upload and use in Claude um, for, um, for, uh, cre for creating these guides inside of Claude, whatever I'm working, right? So we'll let that run for a second and see what the skill looks like. Okay, so now based off of that that link I gave it to my guide and telling it to use the skill creator guide or the skill creator to create a new skill, this is what it comes up with. We have a skill now for a practical guide creator, which transforms transcripts and source content into practical, actionable AI guides. And to use this whenever a user provides a transcript and mentions creating a practical guide, et cetera, et cetera. So what this is going to do is anytime I give it a transcript or give it my notes or tell it I want to create a practical guide about something, it's going to invoke this skill to then do that. So this says what this skill does. It uh, does all these different things, formats it, writes in the target style, when Claude should use this skill, the guided structure framework that it um, extracted from the example I gave it, for example, the opening hook, the context setting, core instructions, key concepts. We have do's and don'ts, formatting standards, visual hierarchy with markdown. Uh, we have formatting template. And then it even breaks down the workflow. Phase one, detection and confirmation. Phase two, content analysis. Three, structure design. Four, writing paths. Five, formatting. And six, finally, the delivery. Then it gives it a bunch of reference materials. In, within this specific skill, there's a bunch of reference materials, right? These are style reference. For detailed writing style and examples, see this reference style guide. Then it gives it structure templates, formatting examples. And now where are those at? These are here in our folder that Claude created for this skill. You also have this folder here for references. So this is what I meant about project instructions versus Claude skill and what a lot of people you know, don't really realize is that within a Claude skill, within that folder, you can load it up with a ton of context and templates and guidelines like context profiles, JSON, JSON context profiles, etc. And that just becomes so powerful because we can invoke this one skill and it has everything about my business, everything about my tone, everything to create this specific thing that we wanted to create. So if you look at these references here, you can see we have a formatting guide. All right. We have a guide template. We have a style guide with my voice and stuff like that, right? So it goes through, it gives it all of that as well. So what's gonna happen is when you invoke this skill, when the skill is invoked, Claude is first gonna read the skill instructions, which we're looking at now, and then it's gonna pull in all those supplemental documents that it was instructed to do so um, to uh, help out, right? Then we have um, just some more stuff, quality checklist, handling different source types, uh, examples of strong opening hooks, examples of clear step instructions. All right, we have tips for transcript analysis, troubleshooting, um, et cetera, and it keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going. So that is what the skill looks like, all right? Now, how do we use that skill on Claude? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to turn that into a zip file. So you will just go and compress all of that. Everything in that skill, you compress it into a zip file. And you're going to come back to Claude and you're going to come to your settings like we saw here. You're going to come to capabilities and you are just going to upload that zip file right here. And it should work perfectly because Claude Code knew exactly how to format and structure 
and and build out this skill so that it's accepted um, by Claude. And it did that because we gave it the documentation. So I already uploaded it here. So I uploaded the practical guide creator, which transforms my transcripts or content or notes into a guide. So now let's look at what this would look like if you were actually to invoke it. So let's say I'm working inside of Claude here. Maybe I had been working for a while for days in this chat, um, talking about uh, building, let's say, this, this uh, video here that I did on connecting OpenAI agents to 8,000 plus apps. All right, so I'm working all in here, right, in this, in this Claude chat, and now I have my transcript, and I wanna now write the guide. All I have to do is take this transcript here and come back over to Claude, and we can literally say, um, create a practical, um, practical AI guide out of my transcript, right, and paste it here. And now it's going to already autonomously invoke that skill just based off of these keywords, basically. So you can see right here, it's reading the practical guide creator skill to understand the best practices for creating AI guides. It's reading that skill, all right? It's using the framework. You could see it's detecting everything. It's reading the templates. It's reading the um, supplemental information. And now it's creating just like that so fast. So, um, yeah, so now it's going to create the actual guide here. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so it took like, I would say like two minutes and it created the guide with the skills. So now we have how to connect OpenAI's agent builder to 8,000 plus external tools. And it uh, created my entire guide here based off of that skill, based off of my, um, you know, uh, proven practices that I wanted it to follow based off of my voice, uh, my structure, all of that, okay? So now I have this beautiful guide that I can publish um, based off of my transcript. So so that hopefully gives you an idea of what Claude skills can do, what you can do with them. This is such a small example of the, the even way more impressive things that you could do with it and build out more complex, more um, useful uh, stuff, but this should give you an example of what you can do and help you start creating skills right away. So make sure that you do those two things. You use Claude Code to create the master skill creator with Claude Code's documentation. And then from there, you can create uh, Claude skills based off of anything. Else. So if you have any questions, drop them below and also let us know what kind of skills you have created already or you want to create.